ちはようこそ東京へ I'm Mekka Wajra, and this is my Polly Post card from Tokyo. So my foundation is sweet enough. <laughs> One of the biggest, baddest pro wrestlers in all of Japan. Get out of here, man. Let's get out of here. Get out of here. Get out of here. My finisher is the gun stun, similar to RKO. Similar, but I do it better. I have the grenade, corner splash. My main one is called the bad luck four. I got a phone call from my brother, Devito. I was serving in the military, and he was in college playing football. He said, we're going to be wrestlers after all this. I said, all right. Well, he had to go tell my father first. <laughs> Ask my father first. Came to Japan to play rugby. When rugby finished, the opportunity came up, so I took the chance and ran over. One of our bosses told us there was another Tongan boy coming. When we met up, little did we know we're actually family <laughs> from the same village. We put up some pictures of ourselves up on Facebook, and our family commented that we're, we're related, that we're cousins. I remember him going to me, man, you're a different type of Tongan. <laughs> I didn't know what it meant, but he goes, the American Tongans and the Tongans from New Zealand are different. There's more love in New Zealand, that's why. <laughs> I meant accent. <laughs> this! How it feels to be great. This man well, I smell you, Rock. I smell you real good. We are in the Sumo Arena, Ryokoku. This place is where all the champions are made. We average from between 6,000 to 12,000 in every show. But here at the Ryokoku Arena, we uh, have 10,000 people. The biggest reasons we uh, became really appealing to all the fans and the rest of the world was what they saw in the ring is how we are uh, outside of the ring. All the way from New York. Keep up pressing. <laughs> <laughs> they get tattoos on my face paint. I mean, that's permanent. Japan, it's our second home. You know, I've been here 17 years, you know. Polys are huge, and uh, everything in Japan is made for Japanese side. Some, so. some polys are huge. <laughs> some. <laughs> He's plastic. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man, you got to spend time here to understand yeah, it's... why we love this place. When I first landed here, I never thought this place would be the way it was, because I had a different view of what Japan would look like. I was expecting everybody to be in kimonos, and carrying samurai swords around, so. Yeah, man, I was expecting to see some ninjas, some ninja stars get thrown somewhere. I was wrong. Oh, man, if you can see, I love my food. <laughs> <laughs> and mine, too. <laughs> <laughs> the food, man, it's very different. Japan has very different tastes. Uh, some of the delicacies that we like to eat is uh, raw horse. Raw horse. <laughs> that was one of the shocking things I, I, I felt when I came here. Raw horse, I mean, Raw horse. I, I eat it cooked, but they eat it raw, and it's delicious. <laughs> <laughs> Their food is art here. The way they prepare it is, is pure It's an art form, art yes. form. So the people here are very respectful. Uh, I, I believe that similar to us, Polly's are very nice to everybody. Yeah. You know, the manners is phenomenal. You know, yeah, right? yeah. If you're looking for help, Japanese will help you. If you decide to come to Japan, don't predetermine what you're gonna like here. You know, come here, With an try open everything. Mind, huh? New, you know, eat new things. There's 
if you look look forward to it, you're gonna love it. No, man, it's so good. Yeah, oh. Oh, what well, my friend Bad Luck Fala here is trying to tell you that we've been here 17 years. Well, he has. I've only been here seven years. Ma Tonga Jin to Nihon Jin wa niteru tabemono ski, nomimono ski, kaucha mo niteru. Ah, so does ne, so does ne. Like our people, the Japanese love their food and their culture. And they know, know their, their roots. roots. <laughs> Mount Pahia, situated on the beautiful island of Bora Bora, was the home of Oro and his sisters Te Aori and Oa Oa. They were very close, not in a Jamie Cersei kind of way, so don't go there, and would do anything for one another. One day, Oro served his sisters with a long overdue request. Sisters, as you know, I have the power to slide down rainbows and stuff. But for the life of me, I can't find a woman to share my love with. I've looked everywhere. I want someone special, someone I can be the best version of myself with, someone who wants to be the best version of themselves and can... Bro, we get it. Tiaori cuts him off. You want someone who's just a girl to stand in front of a boy. Oh, oh, oh cuts her off. Okay, guys, enough with quoting lines from films we don't have the copyright for. Leave it to us, bro. It's gonna be challenging because Tinder hasn't been invented yet, but we'll find someone, don't you worry. Let's reconvene in a couple of hours. And in half an hour, because let's face it, when a guy says he's looked everywhere for things, his muckers are kakaraks and girls find things a hell of a lot faster. Like a scene out of the Blue Lagoon, the sisters spot a beautiful young woman by the name of Rao Mati, bathing in a pool of water. She's a combo of Beyonce with that body and Becky with the good hair. She's fine and she knows it. The sisters return to their bro and fill him in and he decides to make Varal Mati his wife. Their love is deep as and he makes Varal Mati into a goddess. Oro can be seen in the sky in the shape of a flame. So when you see him, Take note to hold on to your flame and never let it burn out. Based on a true story. Coming up after the break. Tala for Lava, I'm Nora Swan from the Pacific Fusion Fashion Show. And we're keeping it fresh. Bro. Yeah. Did you see the game last weekend? Oh, uh, yeah. This boy's sucking, man. Oh. Turbo, eh? Oh, it's so turbo to see him. Turbo, eh? Turbo, man. Oh, there's my pass. Uh, I'll see you later, bro. Turbo! Welcome back to the show. We are keeping it fresh here in the streets of Harajuku. Come on, you know who else keeps it fresh in the fashion scene? Who's that? My home, the South Side. Check out the Fashion View show in South Auckland. Too wow. sweet. living here for the past nine months, trying to put everything together, trying to envision this really high-end fashion event. Hey, well, that's exactly what it came for. Our concept is all about a high-end fashion experience against an urban backdrop, so what better backdrop than here in Otara? Tala Falava, I'm Nora Swan from the Pacific Fusion Fashion Show. Keep it fresh. Break it, break it down, 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 break
break it, break go, it down. Go. Pacific Fusion Fashion Show is less specific traditional but very contemporary and is all about creating a platform for our emerging designers. We are so proud of our big floral prints and our LA prints because that's who we are. But Pacific Fusion Fashion Show is just introducing the new and fused Māori and Pacific designer coming through and I think that's us as well and we should celebrate and embrace it. Keep it fresh! For us Pacific Islanders, it's a platform to showcase our potential as well as what we can do as creative Polynesians. It's quite a tough industry. I'd always dreamt of doing a fashion show. I never thought it would come this quick right here in Auckland. I know that Pacific fashion is up there. We are mainstream. It's time for the world, New York, Paris, wherever it is, to know that we are creative people, we're fashion designers, we're fashionable people, and we are here to make a statement. This is the first time that Pomahina Designs got to go international to visit other places outside of Hawaii. And so it means the world to us to connect to our cousins, to connect to other people across the world, to connect to the other people in Polynesia. This is who we are. This is how we unite. This is how we become one. This is awesome. I love it because, you know what, it breaks that stigma that, you know, South Auckland or oh, it's maybe the rough side of town. Hey, it might be, but that's all good because look how we transform it as well. I think if we can do more of this in our own backyard, which we kind of do culturally anyway, it's just that the greater New Zealand don't know about it. So I think it's about time we put them on the map. Every time I come to New Zealand, I'm here in South Auckland, so I'm, I'm glad it's here. That's actually what I like about it is that it is different from Main Street. We have real people here, you know, showing fashion that we can actually wear. What I really enjoyed was there were some plus size models and they were owning the stage. Just having a good time and, and you know, that's something that I really appreciate as well. And we're keeping it fresh. And I feel like if our designs keep showcasing, celebrities will want to wear it because our designs and styles are very fly, in my opinion. It's the fact that we can pull from both mainstream and Pacifica. You know, we can look at our cultural values and beliefs, and then we can look at the Western society that we live in today. We are going to keep it here in South Auckland, and we're going to move it to different locations within South Auckland. You know, sky's the limit, so we are looking at extending it in upcoming years. Coming up after the break. Run it straight then. Okay, do it here. I want run it straight. Yeah. Get out. Get out. Get out. Get out. Get out. Get out. Equality. Equality. Are you good at mix? Yeah. Okay. What's milk plus sugar plus hot water plus a tea bag equals? I don't know. It's equality. Hey, Tux, what does your parents think about your wrestling? Well, my mom and dad still think I'm still playing rugby. Oh. <laughs> Yikes. What about your dad? Oh, man, he, he thinks I'm Roman Reigns. <laughs> Freshies, if there's one person you don't want to critique your game, it's Auntie Tala. Remember you used to date her? Hello, hello. Oh. Yeah, I've got some bliss get... balls. I made some bliss balls. What balls? Bliss balls. Who's we've got balls? cacao, so we've got some energy for the kids. What Seeds. you call me? What's that, sorry? You call me a cow. No, cacao. Oh, oh, sorry. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Hey, Rev, you stupid idiot! No more police balls for you! <laughs> oh, what? no. I'm well sorry. Done, good I'm sorry for okay. everything I said. Okay, get some police balls, Rev. Yep, wait. Go get some police balls, yeah. I'm. Oh, what? What? Leave your police balls. Oh, yeah, there's no bloody yeah, police no balls police coming your way. You're going to have mate. all the stale ones. No, so you're I'm going to have the for you, mate. Right. I'm not going to rub them. No, no, no. No, no more than Elton John glasses. No more. No, no. no these are like Lord Wears ones like oh, this. Lord, yeah, yeah. Lord Elton John. Nice boys, good first half. All right, 40 minutes to go. You guys are doing really well. Okay. Oh, great guys. Look, Excuse me. Look, it's good. It's good work. Uh, All right, what do you got to say? Uh, Come on, boys. Huh? You guys are really useless. Okay. No one here believes in you. Not even your parents. That's why no one's come to support you. Oh. Okay. In the zoo, different type of animal. These are cats, dog, pigs, uh, mouse, mice. You wanna be a dinosaur. One, the reason why you want to turn so is you need quick hands. 
like a Tyrannosaurus, twist the ball out, straight out. I think dinosaurs are dead. Feed them off like that, OK? We are yes. Ferrari. You know that animal, Ferrari? Hey, do you know what a Ferrari is? Hey, hey, pick up. Pick up. I think we're going to keep. I think we've got to keep to the rules, you know, keep to the rules, listen, working as a team. Do you remember the meditations we did earlier? Do you remember the mudras? Listen, don't listen to anything, her mantra, thing, her, her, all this sort of stuff. Go out there, you play like a criminal, OK? You get the ball, you steal it off there. Go out there and win the game. Hey, don't listen to your coach. He's not even a real school teacher. Did you have uh, the best ball? He's no qualification. He's been unemployed 12 years. And he came straight out of St. Paul after year 17. Love. Like, total love for the kids today. They're made with aroha for all of us. You're not going to win a game on an aroha, OK? You, you go out there and you play as hard as you can. Remember, use your elbow. Use your knee. Anything. It's not okay? If you've got a weapon, use your weapon too. Okay? Just cut the ref head off. This is rugby, guys. This is about speed. This is about determination. This is about strength. And this is about fair play. No, you're not going to win a game with long words, OK? You're going to win it with a long run, long tackle, everything. Just go out there and think of your worst enemy and do those things to him, OK? Do what things to him? The worst enemy things. Don't worry about this fair play the crap, OK? You go out there and you play as tough as you can. I don't care if you get expelled or suspended. As long as we win this game, you kids have already been in school long enough. Coach, can you say something? This is your team, it's not our team. Why are you just standing there and Come not on, saying coach. anything? Yes, get him down, son. Gee, I'm sure he was 21 last week. Yeah, 10 years ago, this one. Look at these gorillas. Come on, oh, boys, get him down, get him down, get that gorilla down. Well, I must be irate. Come on. Yeah, I was talking about these gorillas. Oh, my oh, God. God. Oh, hey. Oh, hey. Oh, hey. Oh, hey. Faces, then too bad. <laughs> hey, he's playing. If you want to see more of Tokyo, we got the perfect young lady for you. It's makeup with Ja. This is Polly Postcard. Hi, I'm Ja, and this is my Polly Postcard from Tokyo. So today I'm going to show you a bit of the makeup and fashion scene here. So we're going to go and head down to Takashita Street, which is the fashion centre in Tokyo. Takashita Street is a really popular fashion district and it's always packed. So just a little tip, you may want to skip lunch if you want to fit through these crowds. Now the street is full of quirky shops, funky fashion. Gang of Rare, it's so cool. And if you love cats, you will be obsessed with this place. It's literally been taken over by cats. Cats everywhere. So if you move further down, you'll find a lot of makeup and beauty stores, which is where I spent most of my time. The biggest beauty trend here is to look young, dolly, like an anime character. And because of this, you'll find an endless supply of eyelashes, face masks and contact lenses. Back home in New Zealand, Australia, we, if we get a Japanese client, if they like a bit of red or gold. They usually ask for those colours. So pretty! Another popular place to shop is Shibuya, and it's only a short walk from Takashita Street. They 
they like floral, floral patterns and like um, like colours like the terracotta, spice, spice colours are uh, trending at the moment. <laughs> You'll find a lot of big brands such as MAC, Shurumira and Ralph Lauren to name a few. Tokyo is really an awesome place to visit. I would definitely recommend you guys to add it to your list. It's a different culture and a different way of living and the people there are really nice. So after a hard days of shopping, you can go and chill with some cats, literally. I got to feed the cats a little treat and they went cray cray for it. I'm Makeup with Jai, and that was my Polly Postcard from here in Tokyo. Sayonara! Well, Freshies, we had a great time taking you around Tokyo. Unfortunately for our next opponents, me and Tama, gotta get ready to kick some ass. Hey, but you stay right here for next week for our brother, hey, our Uso, Dero. Today we take the Aranui, the great highway, to discover some island magic. Keep it fresh! Yeah. And it's Bullet Club for, 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 for life. We'll be keeping it fresh forever. forever. Too sweet. I just need some beats. Man, you're tall. When they say I'm too grown to not do what I want, just to get it done. <laughs> Supporting local content so you can see more of New Zealand on air.